So those are solar lights right there. And this is a wind channel. And then I put this under my fifth wheel. And as you can see, I put solar lights on that too. Made it look pretty. This is gonna be my fairy garden. And on here, these are solar lights right there. So I'll be building a fairy garden here. This is what y'all need to know. <clears throat> the water hose is under here and it's about to freeze. And if it freezes, you don't have any water. And if you don't have any water in RV, you won't be in there long. So I'll be going to get a heated water hose today and figure it out. So the pullouts are kind of scary. Um, when you get an RV, this is something else people don't tell you. You need to get something behind the wheels. Um, I had a guy move me and he didn't put anything behind the wheels. Yeah, this is not really good, but you need something really, really good to hold your wheels because it moves. And this back here, um, these legs here, I thought they were broke, but they go down one side and then it goes down on the other side. You need these bricks underneath it to stabilize it. You need um, cinder blocks underneath it to support it. And as you can see, this is not a whole lot under this. Um, this pullout has a lot of weight on it. I don't know how much weight it holds, but anyway, you need to know this kind of stuff. Like, because that behind my wheel right there, you need to make sure that you got stuff behind your wheel. Uh, you need to make sure that you have uh, this level because every time we moved in the last one, it wasn't done low. Every time you moved, the whole thing moved and it made my doors off and everything. But um, I'm going to get a porch built, but you have to get it straightened because see right here, right there has got to be straightened. Otherwise, the porch will be crooked. So anyway, FYI.